So because our theme tonight is ICD-10, our poll here is, are you concerned about being ready for ICD-10? There's a lot of changes, and some changes big and some changes small, correct, from what I've learned so far. So tell us how you're feeling about that. So be a yes or a no. Are you concerned about ICD-10? Yeah, let us know. Is it because you're retiring, <laughs> or is it because <laughs> <laughs> I heard that yes. that's an option for some people? Yes. <laughs> That is actually a good point because for the people that are, you know, new coders, um, this is this has been for some people that have been, you know, 20, 25 years. You know, there's you just don't quit coding. You if you can sit in a chair, you can code. This has been a big change for several that uh, decided, well, it's time to retire. You know, and uh, uh, which is absolutely great for some of the newer coders. Uh, some of the the more established ones that are staying, you know, they'll become auditors, and it'll make room for for new ones. So that's great. So what what do we got, Boyd? We got a lot of people, you know, almost eighty percent, that are concerned about being ready for ICD ten. And because a couple of people, they're saying that they're not concerned because they're uh, prepared as a CPC. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, once you once you get into the ICD. 10, it is not scary. You're going to love it. It's much easier, I think, to use than um, ICD-9. You know, it's, it's going to be great. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.